guys, this is Alice Venter with Keller Williams Linear Partners. I'm at my latest listing, 337 Kinsey Town Road in beautiful Cleveland, Georgia. I'm getting ready to take you into the house to show you around, but I just wanted you to see some of the beautiful landscaping that the sellers of this property have had have been doing the last 15 years. There's always something blooming here and just beautiful all around. It's the property is actually 10 acres. And it is a splendid mix of pasture and woods. Um, there's a beautiful chicken coop, a fenced-in gardening area where you can grow all the vegetables and herbs that your little heart desires. Um, but the gym is the home itself. Four bedrooms, four and a half bath, uh, over 7,000 square feet, um, top and bottom. So there's a mostly finished basement downstairs that is poured concrete. There's even a safe room. So let me bring you in. So it opens up into the foyer. There's a mix of, of tile and hardwood flooring in this home. Um, but up, all of the living is on this main floor. So you've got your dining room here, hardwood floors. You can seat over 12 people in here. It's got an entrance into the kitchen. And then of course, here into the, uh, into the foyer. Also off the foyer, is this beautiful office. Tongue and groove, floor to ceiling, everywhere you look, beautiful wood, um, exposed beams. Look at that fireplace. So put your cozy fire in, get some work done. And when you're done, you come in here into this living room where more beautiful ceilings, wide open spaces, lots of room to entertain family and friends. Look at this soapstone wood stove. So this soapstone wood stove actually keeps this house heated. So you're going to have extra low energy bills, especially given the square footage of this home. And then in the, in the warmer months, opening up these doors in the sunroom will bring a really nice fresh breeze to cool down the home. Um, also opens up into the kitchen. Very open co floor concept. Beautiful granite countertops. Stainless steel appliances, custom wood cabinetry. There's a nice pantry area here. Let you guys have a peek at that. To me, that's where all the magic happens. <laughs> um, trash compactor. Look at those beautiful cabinets with the glass and the doors. So, um, also the garage does have an entry into the kitchen so that makes it really convenient when uh the weather's bad pull in and hop right into the house and you'll be dry um let me take you this way so laundry room at the end of the hall master bedroom here very spacious opens up into the sunroom actually and then look at this gorgeous bathroom separate tub and shower double sink vanity his and hers Look at this view. And that's out towards the back 40, <laughs> or the back 10. Um, jetted tub, separate water closet with the commode. And here is the massive master closet. Let's turn on some lights. Of course, hardwood floors. Nice dressing closet. And then, again, that goes into the sunroom. I'm going to take you guys, in a minute, I'm going to take you down into the basement and show you what that's all about. Um, let's have a quick peek at the sunroom. Look at this. Huge. The best place for entertainment. Um, former owners of the property actually use this as an aviary. And look at this deck. Absolutely gorgeous. Lots of space. Okay, so I'm going to take you in to see the other bedrooms. Which is also off the living room. Um, this is one of the secondary bedrooms. And it's got these beautiful built-in bookshelves. Ceiling pan. Nice trim. Show you the closet. 
lots of closet space. So, um, so my client likes to make a health drink called kombucha. So that's, you see that here, but as you can see, it's a ample closet space. <laughs> And then let's take you to this one. So this is what this is like a second master. Um, it also, like the other master, it's a smaller one, but this one also opens up onto the sunroom. It's got its own bathroom, does not have a double sink vanity, um, but it's got a separate water closet. And another huge closet, lots of, uh, lots of space. So the last secondary bedroom, which totals three is here. And like the other smaller secondary bedroom, it also has built in bookshelves and a desk space. So it's great for a guest bedroom. This one's closet is not as big, which is, you know, what you would need for guests. But let's go in here and have a look at the other bathroom. Here we go. Double sink. Look at these gorgeous mirrors. And you're a realtor in there in that, in that <laughs> in the mirror, reflection in the mirror. Um, separate water closet, nice linen closet here. There's stuff, to, there's somewhere to put everything in this house. So now that we've seen all the fun stuff, let's go take you down to the basement. So this basement is really incredible. Actually, it's huge. Same number of square footage upstairs is down. Poured concrete walls instead of block. Here's a tornado room. Look at this. Look at all this storage. This is a good 30 by 16 room here. There's one of our HVAC units. One of our water heaters. Let's see if I can keep from getting lost down here. <laughs> lots of space, lots of space. All right, now it is. It has a full bathroom down here. It is also stubbed for a kitchen, so this would make a fantastic man cave or a great in-law suite for grandma. Which reminds me, I wanted to tell you that all the main li the main living is on one floor transitionless flooring which would make it really easy for wheelchair access wide um doors see i'm starting to get lost look at all, look at all this space look at that it's huge there's even more back there we're gonna go look um this is being used as a workshop right now a boat door so you can park any you know boats toys things like that um this also is a wood stove that helps heat the house. So it's got its own separate entrance and patio out here. So realistically, um, this could be a great in-law living space. Um, let's take you around in here. So we saw this. Let's go look in this part over here. Oh, here's the bathroom. So... This is not a small bathroom either. Vanity, tub shower combo, toilet. It's great. Like there's so much potential here. And then, here we go. Some more storage. This could potentially be a bedroom in here. Here's the other HVAC unit. And the other a uh, hot water heater. So you're never going to run out of hot water. Um, concrete floors just needs your custom touches for this to be a fantastic space. 
Um, I'm going to take you back upstairs. Actually, I'm going to take you outside and have a look around the outside of the house. And then I'll get you guys out of here. Oh, see, I'm already lost. <laughs> Absolutely love this house. You're going to get a lot of bang for your buck. Now, there is a secret room in this house, and I'm not going to put it on this video just for consideration of the future, future owners, but just know ain't nobody going to find you in there. So, as you can see, this is the back of the house. This is such a pretty house. Look at that gorgeous siding. This is the outside entrance. There's your boat door. Lots of fresh gravel that's been... This, this property has been maintained impeccably. And I mean, just everywhere you turn, there's something, something nice. Look at that butterfly bush. So... Here's the garden spot. So it's fenced off to keep the critters from getting your precious herbs and vegetables. That's excellent. And then look at this chicken coop. Now I have a chicken coop. <laughs> My chicken coop is nothing like this one. This is really nice. Hey, buddy. Hello. You gonna dance for us? <laughs> so, um, beautiful little homestead here. Lots of safe place for their chickens. Look at those girls in there. <laughs> Hello, chickies. So, something for everyone here. Look how beautiful this property is. Private. You are a hop, skip, and a jump from several state parks. Chattahoochee National Forest. Um, hundreds of hiking trails. Waterfalls. Now, see, can you wake, you can hear yourself waking up to that every morning, right? Um, country living at its finest. Uh, there's actually also a spring on this property. It used to have a spring house, but it got, there's some trees down on it. <clears throat> so it'll have to be pulled out and everything, but absolutely endless possibilities here. And you're just a hop, skip, and a jump from all kinds of outdoor uh, entertainment for the, the adventurous family. Um, I really hope that you guys will come and have a look at this. Bring your realtor, bring your um, prequal letter or proof of funds, um, and bring us an offer. Oh, asking price is five twenty-five. That's ten acres, seven thousand square feet, four bedrooms, four baths, and um, a, and lots of potential. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.